Hey there guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to set up Cubase to get professional vocal recordings. If you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So right here we have Cubase 14, but what I'm about to show you applies from even as far back as Cubase 8, okay? So you come to this panel right here, you typically have this window open when you just open Cubase for the first time. So I'm going to come to more because I like to have my session like empty from scratch, okay? So I'm going to click empty. And right here, it will ask you to prompt for location or you have default location. I recommend you use prompt for location so that you know you always create folder for your recordings so that you don't have your recordings all over the place and you know they become hard to organize. So when I click prompt for location and I, and I click create, it's going to come up with this window. So I like to have my recording sessions in a jobs folder. So for example, I could just create this folder and just say, and this will be unique to this particular project so tutorial i just click and i could also come right here again and just say project folder because we want it to be very organized so i can click select folder and it's going to pop this up now i may seem like there's a lot of things going on but trust me it's really simple and easy to use okay so the first thing you want to set in cubase for recording your vocals is your audio interface that's your in and out okay so to set that you just come to studio and then you come to studio setup and so when you come to studio setup you simply choose your audio interface mine is the solid state logic so i can simply click that it's going to ask me if i want to switch or keep my ico driver i'll simply click switch and then i'll close that then the next step i have to do which is very important is for the vocals then that's your microphone inputs now all i have to do is simply come to studio and come to audio connections but you can just press f4 on your keyboard as a shortcut and then under inputs i could just simply right click an empty space here then come to add input bus you want to click mono so that it comes in from one channel if you have any bus right here just simply right click and delete any bus that you have existing right here so just come to add inputs come to mono now this is input one because my audio interface has two inputs so this is input one then i'm going to come right here mono again and input two and i can actually rename this so i know it doesn't you know maybe if you have like two different mics or two different artists running through your interface you can name this maybe you could say um mic one and you could name this maybe it's, it's attached to a particular mic model maybe i could name this mic one road mic and i could name this maybe mic two i can name this samsung okay maybe you have like a samsung mic running in in there then that's it so now how do we import our beats set up our session for recording it's also really easy all you have to do if you have a beat that you've downloaded or you have a beat from somewhere just simply drag and drop so let me show you an example all i have to do is just simply drag it in it could be an mp3 or a wav file after you simply drag it in here and it's going to ask me this information and all i have to do is just make sure i click copy file to folder so that I do not miss files okay because in case if i delete my original folder for the bits it's still within the project file so you can choose to turn it off if you don't want that okay so i'm going to leave that on and then i can simply just click okay so now i have my bits imported and then you set your tempo to set your tempo is at the bottom of the screen right here uh, make sure you set your tempo before you record so i'm going to change it to 98 bits per minute and it's all set right there and it's a great track where you can record your vocals just come to this left panel right here right click and then come to add audio track and it's going to ask you this once the input the inputs already mono by default but i like using audio output like in stereo okay i like using stereo for my configuration you can leave it in mono but if you try to apply stereo effects in your vocal recording chain it won't work so i, I recommend you leave it as stereo okay then i simply click add track and then you can see right here, if I come to my routing, on that routing right here, you can see mic, this is input, this is output. So you can see I have my mono mic running into a stereo track. Now, not a stereo mic, okay? It's a mono mic that's one signal source running into a stereo track where I can apply stereo effects. So this is how you can easily set up your vocal recording in Cubase. And then you can come right here and click insert. Then you can add auto tune. Because I like to have auto tune, I can come right here again and add another effect, maybe um, like an EQ. So I'm going to use this. And then you can keep adding more and more effects, you know, 
to make your vocal recording chain even more interesting. So this is how you record in Cubase. And if you want more vocal tracks or more recording tracks or inserts, just simply right click and then just click duplicate and to duplicate the same thing and you can rename it, you know, to whatever name you want. Or you can rename it to whatever you want and then you can record your vocals easy and clean. If you found this tutorial helpful, follow me for more tips and tricks as I plan to keep releasing more Cubase tutorials to help you get professional recordings in your home studio. I remain so classy. See you soon. Cheers.